We're getting a new couch delivered today, so I thought I would do a family room tour, kind of a before and after the couch. Um, so as you can see, no furniture. There's a puppy, that's Bella. You've seen Cooper, that's our other boxer, that's Bella. Say hi, Bella. So um, our family room is right off of our kitchen. I'm standing in our kitchen. And so this is the wall, our short wall. We had a hard time finding a couch to fit because this wall is very short. Um, so on the wall here is something that I made. I don't know if you saw on Pinterest the wall art that's made with um, scrapbook paper and um, canvas. Those are 12 by 12 canvas and then scrapbook paper that I decoupaged on. And then I originally had painted the edges like a beige color and they just didn't seem to pop off the wall. So I went back and painted them um, a black color. And it's not a solid black. It's more of a rubbed in kind of black. You can kind of see the beige through. Um, so that's my wall art. And actually the hardest thing to do was to find the scrapbook paper. Um, I ended up finding it at Hobby Lobby, which is about an hour from um, our house, but that's okay. I'll travel to go to Hobby Lobby. And as you turn the corner, this is the other wall. And I found that one sign, I think at TJ Maxx, and that's one of the few things that's store-bought. Um, the W, I think I found at a thrift store. And then I found this shadow box empty at the fairgrounds, they had a big yard sale, and then all the shells inside are all shells that I glued in with E6000, but they're all shells that my husband and I have picked up um, in our travels. We live about 45 minutes from the beach, but we've been to Sanibel Island and Fort Myers, and I just love to walk along the beach and pick up fun shells and all kinds of fun things. Anything that looks interesting to me, I just pick up. And so this is a fun way to display them. They're not just in a bowl or in a jar, although I do have big jars full of smooth rocks and different shells. Um, I did buy that little piece up top. I have two of those. They used to hang in my living room. Um, so that's there. And then these pictures, that's a tarpon and that's a Florida panther. And then over there, I have some white ibises. And actually the frames are from Goodwill. They were wooden frames and I whitewashed them. I just took some watered down cream colored paint and rubbed them onto the frames to give them that kind of beachy antique look. And then my husband helped me cut the mats out of cardboard and I covered them with burlap. As you can see, it's just burlap. They're not perfect, look there's a mistake right there. And the pictures inside the frames are actually pictures from old National Geographic magazines, I think from the 1940s. Um, whenever I can find old National Geographic magazines, I pick them up because I just love the old vintage style of the illustrations. So I still have some of those left and I'm a big fan of old Florida style, anything vintage that's very Florida. Um, so that's what those are. They're just pictures from magazines and you could do them with anything, um, especially like in a preteen girls room, the fun advertisements they have now in all the magazines, this would be fun with some fun wrapping paper and some hot pink frames. But this was just the style I was looking for. My dogs are having really big fun. That's the noise you hear in the background. They just love each other. That's Cooper and Bella. And they kind of go with the decor. If you notice, they match everything in the house. Cooper, Bella. Bella! Hi, Koopy! So, excuse the noise in the background. So, and then I have another bigger um, shadow box. I think these are called printer boxes where they used to keep the print type in there. And those, again, are just shells. And a lot of the rocks in here I've picked up because they were heart-shaped. And so that's why those are in there. And then just some more fun, funky different corals and shells that I've picked up. And then these scissors I just love. Um, not exactly sure what they were used for. I want to say dyeing things because they're kind of flat. But I picked those up in an antique shop or a thrift store. And since I sew, um, I just really love those. Hey, keep it down. 
So, and then in this hallway between the kids' bedrooms, this is a, a painting that actually a relative of mine had painted. It's a picture of Seminole Indians. Hey! And um, we found it in my grandmother's garage. It was buried deep in there. And um, I just love it because, again, it's vintage Florida, the Seminole Indians. Um, we live not too far um, from the Everglades. So um, I just love this painting. And I'll get a little bit closer. You can kind of see that it's um, definitely in the Everglades. There's some tiki huts. And it's worn. Um, all I did was just clean it up a little bit. I didn't do anything else to the frame. And I just love the way it looks. So coming out of this little tiny alcove, you come into the hallway um, that leads into the kids' bathroom. And my husband built me these um, picture ledges out of uh, the fencing from our fence. We took down the slats and we bought the property next door, so we took down the fence that separated it. So we built these ledges. I again whitewashed them. I went a little darker so they wouldn't look quite so rustic. And I'm still merchandising them. As you can see, some of the frames are empty. Um, those are my dad's parents on their wedding day. Uh, we put wedding pictures out at Maureen and David's wedding of all of our relatives. And there's a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day. And of course the silhouettes from Disney World. And so I just really love this ledge. Those are my mom's parents um, back in the day. So this is something that I'm still working on, on there. So coming out of that hallway, this is our TV cabinet and our TV. And I actually bought this piece at Salvation Army. Um, it was a dresser, it was really tall. It had a mirror, it was ginormous, and we cut the feet off. Actually, we just cut the feet down and made little button feet. Um, I changed the hardware, I painted it this color. It was a cream color. Let me see if I can open the doors and show you. It was this white creamy color. It had raised tin doors. Um, we took the inserts out and I put the burlap in so that the remote control will work so we don't have to have the doors open and took the top off and so now it works as our TV cabinet and the drawers are great for storage and it just works out perfectly and I just love it. It just came out so perfect. And this piece that's sitting in the middle of the room is actually our coffee table but until we get the new couch. And this was my great grandmother's cedar hope chest. I have lots of things that have sentimental value in my home that belong to a parent or a great grandparent or a grandparent and it just means a lot to me to be able to have those in my home and to to feel them around me and it was a stained cedar chest and it was kind of beat up the top was scratched so I sanded it all down filled in the holes my husband helped me fill in some of the scratches were really really deep and I painted it it's actually the same color as my kitchen cabinets that I painted and the inside is still cedar and all of our family pictures are stored inside of there. And then I stenciled this W, um, that's our initial, on the front. And then the top just has some things that I found at thrift stores. I found the tray, I found that little basket holds our remotes. And then these are just books that I ripped the covers off of and tied them with twine just for decorative purposes. And then I like to craft with the uh, old Scrabble letters. So whenever I find Scrabble games, I buy them just for the letters. And I just put them in these cute little jars that I found at thrift stores. And actually, these are some of my favorites. I found a travel Scrabble game, and they're little teeny tiny squares. So that's what I decorated with. So when we get the couch, I will show you the new couch. And so that's pretty much our family room. As you walk this way, um, that just leads outside, a lot of sun. And those are some curtains that I made. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. Um, so as soon as we get the couch, I will show you the new couch. Here's the first piece. So exciting. We're going to have a couch that actually fits in this room now. Don't break it. How's it fit? Good. Good little chair, huh? Perfect. So the couch is going in, the corner piece is mm -hmm. rocking and rolling because of the rug, so Honey's trying to figure out some way to keep it from doing that yeah. so 
I've got two more pieces to bring in and then we'll be all set. Our new couch has been installed and brought into the room. It actually fits. Our old couch used to hang over into the hallway. So this is our new sectional sofa. I think we need to pull the rug out a little bit, but our family room is now complete. I think we're gonna put a lamp in that corner, but it actually fits. Hooray! Hooray, we even have room over there for a little table. What do you know? So exciting. I think the boys like the new couch. I think they're very happy. I don't know how I'm going to get a coffee table in here now. You're not going to put on. <laughs> there she is, all her glory. Her new couch. Glory for real. All her beauty. <laughs> With these lazy ass. Noisy sing. dogs. <laughs> Those are the baby daddy. Oh, they're babies, all right. Those are my babies. This is my baby right here. This is the one. 25 years ago. Mm. Smarched all across my face. Look how pretty and smooth that skin looks. 